Welcome to the demonstration of NetSuite Analytics Warehouse. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to create a series of visualizations to explore revenue details that will assist in strategic planning. From the menu bar, I'm going to select Projects. And in the upper right corner, click Create and select Workbook. Next, I'll select the data set. Data sets include my NetSuite data and any data I've brought in from other systems. For today, I'm going to click NetSuite Journal and add that to my workbook. My data set is in the left panel and I can drag and drop my data to create visualizations, or I can choose the visualization that I would like to add to my workbook. I'm going to create a revenue by department stacked bar chart for fiscal year 22. My first step is to drag and drop the stack bar option to the visualization area on the right, and then add my data. I'm going to expand my time folder, fiscal calendar, and add my fiscal period name to the visualization. And then from the department folder, I will add the department name to it. Finally, from my Revenue and Expenses Financials folder, I will add my revenue amount. And I can see my chart has been created. Now I want to filter my chart to be for fiscal year 22. I can do this by dragging my fiscal period name box to the top of the screen. In the search, type in 2022 and then clicking Add. Next, I will create a second visualization to the right of my existing chart. This time, I'm going to open the visualizations list and select the pie chart. And drag and drop and place to the right of my existing. This pie chart will be revenue by classification. I'll return to my data set and bring in my classification name and my revenue amount. And now my second chart is finished. Now I would like a third visualization table to show me the data that is underlying the two existing visualizations. For this table, I'm gonna add it to the bottom of the canvas and I'm going to add in my subsidiary name department classification and my revenue amount. I can see where several of my revenue values have zero, and I'm going to add in a filter to only show where my revenue is greater than one cent to narrow the focus of my visualizations. So I'll drag my revenue amount to the filter, set my start minimum to 0 0.01, and I can now see how my charts have updated. The next step is I want to rename my canvas to revenue. If I wanted to have additional pages, I could click the plus sign and add another canvas. My next step is to save my workbook by clicking the save button and typing in the name revenue. The preview button lets me see what it will look like. I can click on any of the charts and the related information in my visualization is selected. Now I'm able to use this information to spot trends and other details I'd like to explore further, such as my operations revenue and the increases from August to November. I'll return to the home screen and here I have access to all of my workbooks and those that are shared with me. Thank you for watching this demonstration. If you have any questions, please reach out to your account manager.